Hey everyone, James Lynch here doing a quick reaction video to the news that Benoit St. Denis and Hainato Moicano is officially booked for UFC Paris. It's going to be five rounds. MMA Junkie confirming the news with an original report from AG Fight. I love this fight. I love this matchup. I think it's great. A little bit of revenge here for Benoit St. Denis a bit. Uh, Hainato Moicano, a teammate of Dustin Poirier, the last fighter to defeat Benoit St. Denis. Uh, so really like this one. Good opportunity here for Moicano to move up the rankings. From just a context perspective, this is a great fight for both guys. I think for Moicano Cano, it's an opportunity for him to take out a really good prospect here in Benoit St. Denis. And for Benoit St. Denis, it's a great opportunity to get back on the winning track, uh, potentially get a finish here, and uh, move back up the, the ranking, so to speak. So good on the UFC's matchmakers for making this one happen here. I think it makes a ton of sense. Let's do a quick tail to tape here, and then I'll kind of give my early uh, prediction on this one. Uh, you can, so you can see there, Moicano, 35 years old, 5'11 with a 72-inch reach. Benoit St. Denis, younger here, 28, also 5'11 with a 73-inch reach, just a 1-inch... Uh, reach advantage for Benoit St. Denis, but physically very similar. As far as opposition, Moicano's fought the far better guys. If you look at it overall, um, you know, you look at some of the names he's been in there with, uh, you know, Dos Anjos, you've got Drew Dober, Jalen Turner, Fazeev, um, and then fought a bunch at uh, Featherweight as well against guys like Brian Ortega and Calvin Cater. Uh, ben was St. Denis, uh, fight against Dustin Poirier, not going his way. He was favored. A lot of people thought he was going to win that one. He ends up getting knocked out in the second round. There was the staff infection, which certainly played a role in that, but curious to see if St. Denis is going to make any more adjustments. He did get hit a bit in that fight that obviously resulted in him getting knocked out, but he had a good first round against Poirier. I think people uh, forget about that, that you know he almost finished Poirier in that first round, so um, that's what's going to be really interesting in this fight. Moicano, no stranger to getting in firefights his win over Jalen Turner a perfect example where uh, you know Turner was you know doing quite well and then Moicano was able to come back and, and get it done and get that ground and pound finish in the second round so again really good opportunity for both guys as far as the rankings go um, I believe Saint Denis I want to say is well I can't tell you off the top of my head because I don't memorize these things but uh, Benoit Saint Denis ranked number 12 Moicano uh, 10 so as far as who's out there and available opponents I think it makes a lot of sense as far as matching these two up, we did hear some rumblings about maybe Dan Hooker and Moicano and also Dan Hooker and Oliveira. Dan Hooker, as of the time I'm doing this, does not have an opponent book. So I think it makes sense from a rankings perspective. And again, uh, St. Denis, like I said, a little bit of revenge taking out uh, Moicano's teammate or taking out um, the teammate of Dustin Poirier and Hinato Moicano. And this is in Paris. Uh, you know, the UFC likes going there. This is one of their big chip prospects for that um, that event. We'll see if Cyril Gong gets booked, where there's some rumblings about him fighting. But this is a good addition to this card. You know they're going to go all out for this fight night card. The UFC, like I said, does put on pretty good events in Paris. So we'll see what happens there. As far as an early prediction, and again, this may change uh, come uh, fight time, but... I liked St. Denis in this fight. Um, I know there's going to be a lot of people writing him off after his loss to Dustin Poirier. I thought he did well in that fight. Again, he doesn't have staff. Maybe the fight goes a bit differently, but I think, you know, I think overall Poirier was a, it was a bit of a step up for him. I think this is the right level of opposition here for Moicano. Moicano can absolutely get it done. Again, he surprised me against Jalen Turner. I thought, you know, um, I, I just kind of see Moicano uh, getting hit a little bit too much in this one, and I think St. Denis with his power is going to be able to knock out Moicano at some point. So I'll go right now. And remember, this is five rounds, so uh, we'll We'll see if cardio is still an issue for St. Denis. Again, a lot of people feeling like uh, that staph infection that he had was probably a big part of the reason why he gassed out so heavily. So we'll see if that's still a thing. Uh, the longer the fight goes, I think it would favor Moicano. So if you're St. Denis, I think you got to go out there and finish early. And I think he does do that. So I'm going to go second round knockout for Benoit St. Denis. Listen, I love Moicano. I think what he's doing is great for the community, his YouTube channel, all the other cool stuff he's doing. But I'm very high on St. Denis. And I think one day we will see him fight for a lightweight title. I don't get that sense for Moicano. But maybe you can prove me wrong in this fight. So I'm going Benoit St. Denis for my early pick uh, by knockout in the second or third round to get it done over Hainato Moicano. So I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Was this the fight to make? Let me know the context of this do you agree with the matchmaking and what's your prediction i don't want to hear your pick it's very easy to pick fights it's very hard to give an exact prediction so i want to know where you're leaning on this one follow me on twitter tiktok instagram at lynch on sports my name is james lynch thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time